Um, I'm very interested in how humans, uh, both physically and behaviorally, got to be the way they are. Why are we the way we are today? Um, humans are actually quite strange as mammals. Um, we have these enormous brains. Uh, we have sophisticated language. And in terms of our locomotion, we're also very strange. We walk around on our, ex our extended hind limbs. And it's a weird way to move. You don't see any other mammal habitually or every day walking around on its hind legs. Um, and so that's what got me really curious about locomotion in early human ancestors. Under what circumstances, why did we start walking on two legs? What, what were the selective advantages of walking on two legs? Because it's not as obvious as you might think. We actually are very slow on two legs. We're unstable on two legs. Humans trip and fall more than any other mammal. You don't see a cat or a squirrel tripping and falling on his face very often, but you see humans doing it all the time. Um, and so uh, I became quite interested in the origins and evolution of upright walking. Uh, and in order to figure that out, I've spent a lot of time studying foot, ankle, knee, and hip bones uh, from our ancestors. Uh, and what we've revealed, which is really exciting, is that different human ancestors over time actually walked in very different kinds of ways. Uh, humans today exhibit all sorts of variation in walking, but in the past, our ancestors had an even, even wider range of variation, and there were different species that were walking in these different kind of ways. There were all these experiments going on early in human evolution. You and I don't walk exactly the same way, but for the most part, um, humans are characterized by having this extended leg and extended hip gait where we take long strides. We have an arched foot that can put a spring in our step, especially when we're running. And so there are certain anatomies that you can see that are directly correlated with a modern human kind of gait. And that's um, the anatomies that, that, that are consistent with a human gait first appear, we think, in early members of our genus Homo. Um, Homo erectus in particular, and this would have happened about two million years ago or so. And so human locomotion has probably, uh, I don't want to say it's been unchanged, but a modern human-like gait uh, goes back at least two million years. And there's some evidence that even early Australopithecus might have been, uh, at least uh, there's some uh, evidence from footprints and some of the foot bones that in fact they were walking in more of a human-like way. Uh, but some of these other early human ancestors were still living in the trees and still spending time in the trees. And so if you're living in these dual ecologies, these dual habitats of being in the trees and being on the ground, you have to compromise your anatomy. There has to be some sort of sacrifice of bipedalism if you're going to still have the anatomies that are adaptive for tree dwelling. And so one of the reasons we think different human ancestors were walking in these different ways is they were using their environments in different uh, 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 manners as well. C climbing trees, climbing different kinds of trees, either for safety or for food.